is happening. We are here. We are 3D printing a house and we have walls. We have a foundation, we have footings, we have a slab, and we have walls, real walls. We are 15 layers away from being done with the print and able to pop the roof truss system on it. I want you guys to come in the house with me, check it out. Now you can actually really see the layout. You can see the beautiful line pattern that's coming through. You can see the construction. The electric's been installed, holes are cut for the outlets, holes are cut for the switches, and we are right there. Once the print stops, we've got about two months worth of work on the interior and exterior, regrading, roof, all the interior finishings, wood floors, all the cool technology that's been going into the house of the future. And I can't wait to show it to you guys. Come check it out. the main living space. This is the area where the kitchen's gonna go. Kitchen L's out from here around. Got a nice island in the middle, microwave drawer, range, dining room over there, living room in front. Exactly like your traditional wide line ranch, garage and the utilities off to the side. And it's really coming together. As you can see, I'm five, nine and a half. I'm gonna be doing some yoga soon. My sister told me I'm gonna grow another inch, so hopefully I'll get to be that five foot 10 and a half range. So we got to know the few feet to go. Nine foot ceilings. This way when you walk in, it's going to be grandiose. We're going to have the cathedral ceilings, tons of natural light, and it's going to make the house appear a lot bigger than it is. Although it's not small, it's about 2,000 square feet, which is far above the size of your average wide line ranch. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Where are the windows? And you're right. The window openings aren't there yet. What we're going to do is as soon as we're done printing, we're going to take a saw, we have markings in the concrete now. We're gonna cut through, frame out for the windows, pop the windows in, exterior doors, roof truss system, and we're ready to go and start finishing the interior. One of the main characteristics of 3D printing is this beautiful line pattern. SQ4D uses a rectangular bead that stacks on top of itself as I get wet. <laughs> that stacks on top of itself perfectly and forms this unbelievable bond, like I said, 9,000 PSI concrete. This stuff is built to last. If I hit it any harder, I'm gonna hurt my hand, which obviously you don't wanna do because I bruise easy. But me, I love this, especially for the accents. I love the look down the hole of the lines. Once we put the hardwood floors in, the doors, trim, paint everything, seal it, and put all the finishes in, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. The cool thing is the versatility of it. You can keep it like this and appreciate what it is, the concrete in its raw form, which I love. You could sheet rock over it if you wanted to. We don't recommend it. You can stucco over this and make it flat more of like something you would see down south or over in Europe. The possibilities are endless, the versatility is endless, but the great part is it is built way, way better than anything out there on the market right now. So fucking cool. bathroom and again I really love the look of the lines I want to use that as an accent so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the, the, um, the tub here tile inside same as the traditional bathroom we're gonna maintain the lines as the accent the toilet goes right here nice double vanity setup as you can see exactly the same thing as in a traditional stick built house you have the outlet here for the GFI standard and the switches here we have high hats in here tons of natural light window right in the middle perfect Walking through the hallway. On this side, you have one, two, three bedrooms, and then the master on this side. I'm gonna take you guys into the master. So we're here in the master bedroom, right? Typical master, master bedroom for a house of this size in this particular market at this particular price point. At a very nice size walk-in closet. Now I know what you're thinking. If you live outside of New York, you think this is small. It's not. You're thinking this is expensive. It's not. New York is like another planet. Obviously, everything's a lot more money. Taxes are a lot higher. Land is a lot smaller. 
But the cool thing about 3D printing is the versatility. And the best part about 3D printing is the bigger you go, the more money you save. Oh, this is awesome. I couldn't have choreographed that better myself. It looks like Mr. Softy ice cream. 